ladies and gentlemen, to the world of Anafar, the place where we look at the latest and greatest anime from the land of the rising sun. But that's not what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to be looking at something positively f***ing awful. In fact, it's one of my least favourite anime out there, and I'll be able to prove it to you over on my website. You see, it has a number two, because it's the second worst. And it has a number two. Yeah. In case you didn't see the title of the video that you just watched, it's the anime School Days. Ugh. School Days is the creation of the Japanese game developer Overflow, spelt with a zero, cause it's zero overflow. Its first iteration, that being the actual property School Days, was a visual novel game in 2005, which gained credibility for its multiple endings and somewhat macabre story. After that, it got a manga release, radio drama series, and then the anime series itself, animated by the studio TNK. Ah, TNK. Short for totally nauseating... um... crap? Okay, okay. They have had some good shows, like Kanazuki no Miko, UFO Ultra Maiden Valkyrie, and I My Me Strawberry Eggs. Oh, High School DxD too. But they've also had some really, really bad shows, especially as of late. There's Kenzen Noble Daimi Dala, which I really, really don't like. There's It's Odate My Santa, which is my fifth worst anime. And now this very show. It's unfair to judge an entire studio based off three anime I don't like, I know. But the amount of times that these appeared on my radar for the worst anime that I think, it's just too often to simply ignore. Now, okay, usually with Anaphile, I do one episode, or usually the first episode is the sort of first impressions type thing. But no, 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 no. The first episode doesn't do the show its notorious justice. We're going to look at the whole thing, or at least what makes the main character, Makoto, an absolute jerk. Now, we're warning, there are going to be spoilers, so just take this with a pinch of salt and just skip over the bits that you don't particularly want to be spoiled for you. Although, really, you're going to be saving yourself a lot of rage. So, let's begin. Right, so it all starts with Makoto stalking one of the main girls, Kotonaha Katsura, on the train where he takes a picture of her. Not because he needs to get his jollies later, but because of the school's current trend of taking a picture of your crush, and if you keep it secret for three weeks, you and that subject will hook up. Naturally, with Makoto being the klutz he is, he gets spotted on the first day by Sekai Sayonji. But instead of deriding him, she helps him hook up with Kotonoha by befriending her and grooming her to like Makoto. Because Makoto doesn't have the brains to do it himself. Actually, mate, it's probably best that you let her do it, because you'll only just screw it up. I mean, sooner. In fact, he nearly does when Sekai alludes that she told someone. He straight up grabs her and threatens her instead of the usual comedic flailing of, Are you tell her? That's not funny. That's scary. Despite this, she still helps him score, even though he's acting like a complete chicken. Kotonoha is a sweet girl who makes the effort to be cordial despite not being a great cook. They then get time alone, and it's then when Kotonoha reveals that they have a mutual interest in one another, and he soon confesses his love for her, and she accepts it. Sekai then explains to Makoto later that she did all this for him because it was fun, and she wanted to contribute to a budding romance, before kissing him and running off, screwing him up, and corrupting him big time. That action alone has now sparked something in Makoto. It is tiny little mind. He has a love triangle and a confliction between two girls, the attractive Kotonoha and the supportive Sekai. <laughs> Sekai could have got Makoto to himself sooner. Instead of actually pushing him towards the girls that she doesn't want him to like, he, she likes him. Why not have him? He would... They have a dynamic, and now it's just going to be going in a spiral towards a really, really bad ending. Now, if you got the girl in the first episode, you would want to kind of, you know, nurture that relationship, make sure that it gets off to a good start. Well, on their first date, this happens. <gasps> Makoto reads a complete guide to love on the date. In front of Kotonoha. Looks a book of half-naked ladies whilst on said date. In front of Kotonoha. Plays video games which involve fighting on his own and not inviting Kotonaha to play together, or at least play something that they can both enjoy. Going overboard on the choices of cakes for Kotonaha to pick, potentially making her feel awkward. Protects Kotonaha after bumping into a Yakuza member, and then wussing out and Kotonaha has to deal with it. Freaking pussy. Proclaiming the day was fun and not reading that Kotonaha totally did not enjoy it. Going in for the kiss in a stupid fashion, expecting that he did a good job where he totally acted like a jerk. Good job, Dor! He then apparently left Kotonaha alone and has barely seen her after the date, and Sekai has to bail him out with buying movie tickets despite the fact that he doesn't deserve them. 
He then chooses the romance film, which I think is the better option, and then totally misreads Sekai's advice about being romantic, and instead gets slapped in the face, ruining the entire date. He then puts his foot in it and infers about his relationship with Sekai in front of Kotonaha, and he doesn't get that's making her feel awkward. She then runs up after the date, apologizing for not being Sekai. Naturally, Sekai scolds him and stops him reading the book. He then freaks Kotonaha out by overloading her with emotion despite hinting that she doesn't want to see him. Then as he laments, another girl Kato tries to advance on him, alluding about things to come. Kotonaha then chooses to go on the train and give him another chance and kisses him. Hmm, okay. He may be a bit of a jerk, but at least he's trying to patch things up and make things right again. Okay, well, what happens in episode 3? He spends the day with Kotonaha and her little sister and finds it to be really boring, as is the relationship. Boring. Boring? BORING?! You have the cutest girl in the school and you find her to be boring?! You are a lucky sub, you! Take what you got! You are lucky! The first three episodes sum up the situation thusly. Makoto likes Kotonaha. Sekai helps him get Kotonaha and the two hook up. Kotonaha gets scared. Makoto tries and then fails to engage, and instead wants Sekai despite her rebuffing him but secretly wanting it. How much does she want it? Well, by episode 5 they have sex. That's wholesome family entertainment right there! Yeah, about as wholesome as the HOLE IN MY BRAIN RIGHT NOW! You think this is bad enough to warrant Makoto getting punished? Oh no, it gets worse. Oh, much worse. The entire second half of the series is dedicated to him corrupting Kotonaha's mind and screwing everybody! LITERALLY! Fuck! How does he do this? By being a complete and utter no-hoper. He chooses to have an on-off relationship with Sekai, constantly switching between her and Kotonoha, and some other girls, despite Sekai telling him to focus on his original target, but then succumbing. But he doesn't just two Tom and Kotonoha, oh no 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 no, that's too simple. Now, now since we're in school, let's do some basic addition here, shall we? Okay, there's the two, that's Kotonoha and then Sekai, and then he chooses to sleep with Setsuna, Hikari, Setsuna's being Sekai's best friend by the way, Nikari, and then we have Kato, the one I mentioned earlier. Yeah, that's fine. Five times, everybody. Makoto, you get a gold star. Staple to your dick! So Makoto has now fallen victim to Kato's early advances and had sex with her, which then gets shown on candid camera. Smile! He then thrusts himself on Setsuna, one of Sekai's best friends who tries to get him to confess his wrongdoings to Sekai, but decides to add another wrongdoing to the overgrowing pile. That's the size of the wrongdoings that Makoto has done. It's a stinky pile of wrong. Then Hikari, another girl in his class, sleeps with him after failing to get him to go to Sekai's place and sort things out. Another one for the pile! Honestly, if that pile gets any bigger, it'll need its own government! Oh, oh, no, wait, it does! He slept with three other girls from the student council! Kumi, Minami, and Natsumi in a foursome, and completely had no problem with it as they went to him. His moral compass? He ain't got a compass to begin with. So yeah, that five timing thing I said? <laughs> I lied, it's eight timing. Any more timing and we'll have a clock full of it. So where's Kotonaha in all of this? What do you think? She's been completely broken by all this. She started off as that sweet, naive girl who was really shy and was actually kind of scared of men. And now, thanks to Makoto's actions, she is scared of men, to the point where she will do anything to prove that she loves Makoto. She has no independence whatsoever. And thanks to Makoto's emotionless stupidity, she is just ruined. And I feel so sorry for that. It's thanks to him that... Oh, God. This is terrible. Do I really have to watch more of this? She has no personality now. She's completely shattered. What has made her is gone. And all that's left is a subservient husk ready to do Makoto's bidding. He really doesn't deserve all this female attention. But do you think it ends like this? With Makoto getting away with grand adultery? No, he doesn't. No, not by a long shot. Or stab. Did I forget to mention that Sekai might be pregnant with his child? and that he wants her to get an abortion because he doesn't care? He proves his lack of caring by making out with Kotono right in front of Sakai. Cold. Very, very cold. She's then presented with her inner demons exclaiming what we all think. If she hadn't sat next to Makoto, none of this would have happened. Naturally, she's upset and takes it out on him in the worst way possible. 
by actually killing him. Yeah. Even I didn't expect that when I first watched this show. Okay, his actions, what he committed, were heinous and really, really enraging, but I didn't expect him to get his just desserts like that. It kind of made up for some of the rage that had built up during the entire series, but I don't know. I felt really bad for actually wanting him to die. And I felt kind of sorry for him. No, just kidding. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he deserves to die. And I think the audience would have wanted it too. If there was anyone watching. What makes School Days so infuriating is that not only is Makoto a poor character, but every single character is poor. Not Kokoro though, Kotonaha's little sister. She's okay, but you get what I mean. All the girls in this show haven't got the guts to say no and rebuff Makoto outright. It's not like he sweet talks them into bed or anything, he just somehow gets them. He has no charisma or intelligence. He is merely a dense douchebag with the likability of a six day old cheese sandwich. With anchovies, that's been left out in the sun. One thing I will say that I think School Days tries to convey in a somewhat subtle and overarching tone, Temptation sucks. Makoto was just an average guy before all this happened. A clueless and bland high school student who would have lived out life and been fairly ordinary. But once Sekai allows him to claim his prize, he goes crazy. He didn't have to try and earn it, he got it given to him, and thus Sekai's plan to cause drama began, and soon went out of control. What makes me hate this show with such a passion is that it's just plain mean. It's not a kind show or a funny show, it's either a generic high school drama or a dark and sadistic tragedy which relies too hard on its killer ending. It's like the writers were going with, yeah, we're gonna make you really hate this character, so stick around to the ending, please, we'll love you, and let you stab Makoto a few times. Really? You're gonna use psychological trauma and death to peddle your anime and game? And actually enjoy it somewhat? That's kind of low. That's why I really, really don't like this show. It's mean, enraging, and it's not even that well made. Ugh, I'm done with this. I'm, I, I've just got to get out of here. I'm seriously over with this. I saw it when it first came out, and now I had to watch it again. I felt really, really depressed after watching this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm unfinished with it. So I hope you are too. Hopefully we can start with something really happy, happy, happy smiles. So until next time, <laughs> catch you later. <laughs> I would just like to say a special thank you to all my Patreon backers out there. With your support, Anafal is now back in business. Thank you once again.